A cDNA library is a combination of cloned cDNA fragments inserted into a collection of host cells, which together constitute some portion of the transcriptome of the organism. cDNA is produced from fully transcribed mRNA found in the nucleus and therefore contains only the expressed genes of an organism. Similarly, tissue-specific cDNA libraries can be produced. In eukaryotic cells the mature mRNA is already spliced, hence the cDNA produced lacks introns and can be readily expressed in a bacterial cell. While information in cDNA libraries is a powerful and useful tool since gene products are easily identified, the libraries lack information about enhancers, introns, and other regulatory elements found in a genomic DNA library. cDNA Library Construction cDNA is created from a mature mRNA from a eukaryotic cell with the use of an enzyme known as reverse transcriptase. In eukaryotes, a poly A tail distinguishes mRNA from tRNA and rRNA and can therefore be used as a primer site for reverse transcription. This is the problem that not all transcripts, such as those for the histone, encode a poly A tail. Equals mRNA extraction equals, firstly, the mRNA is obtained and purified from the rest of the RNAs. Several methods exist for purifying RNA such as trisyl extraction and column purification. Column purification is done by using oligomeric DT nucleotide coated resins where only the mRNA having the poly A tail will bind. The rest of the RNAs are eluted out. The mRNA is eluted by using eluting buffer and some heat to separate the mRNA strands from oligo DT equals cDNA construction equals, once mRNA is purified, oligo DT is tagged as a complementary primer which binds to the poly A tail providing a free 3OH end that can be extended by reverse transcriptase to create the complementary DNA strand. Now, the mRNA is removed by using a RNA-SE enzyme leaving a single-stranded cDNA. This SSCDNA is converted into a double-stranded DNA with the help of DNA polymerase. However, for DNA polymerase to synthesize a complementary strand a free 3OH end is needed. This is provided by the SSCDNA itself by generating a hairpin loop at the 3 feet end by coiling on itself. The polymerase extends the 3OH end and later the loop at 3 feet end is opened by the scissoring action of S1 nucleus. Restriction endonucleases and DNA ligase are then used to clone the sequences into bacterial plasmids. The cloned bacteria are then selected, commonly through the use of antibiotic selection. Once selected, stocks of the bacteria are created which can later be grown and sequenced to compile the cDNA library. cDNA library uses, cDNA libraries are commonly used when reproducing eukaryotic genomes, as the amount of information is reduced to remove the large numbers of non-coding regions from the library. cDNA libraries are used to express eukaryotic genes in prokaryotes. Prokaryotes do not have introns in their DNA and therefore do not possess any enzymes that can cut it out during transcription process. cDNA does not have introns and therefore can be expressed in prokaryotic cells. CDNA libraries are most useful in reverse genetics where the additional genomic information is of less use. Also, it is useful for subsequently isolating the gene that codes for the mRNA. Equals CDNA library versus genomic DNA library equals, CDNA library lacks the non-coding and regulatory elements found in genomic DNA. Genomic DNA libraries provide more detailed information about the organism, but are more resource-intensive to generate and maintain. Cloning of cDNA cDNA molecules can be cloned by using restriction site linkers. Linkers are short, double-stranded pieces of DNA about 8 to 12 nucleotide pairs long that include a restriction endonuclease cleavage site for example BAM high. Both the cDNA and the linker have blunt ends which can be ligated together using a high concentration of T4 DNA ligase. Then sticky ends are produced in the cDNA molecule by cleaving the cDNA ends with the appropriate endonuclease. A cloning vector is then also cleaved with the appropriate endonuclease. 
following sticky end ligation of the insert into the vector the resulting recombinant DNA molecule is transferred into E. coli host cell for cloning. External links, cDNA library properties, functional annotation of the mouse database, examples of cDNA synthesis and cloning, custom cDNA library construction.